so I kind of start from viewing the scenes in my own head like I'm watching a movie of the story I want to write. What if for just a few minutes the impossible was possible? Hi, I'm Anastasia Dzikin. Before Asinus, I wasn't a horror writer and now I am and that's what I like call myself and feel like I want to do with my life is specifically writing horror. It's lur it's always been lurking. It's definitely this kind of looming fascination with the taboo of horror. Um, I was a member of the SYM, the Society of Young Magicians, and every Halloween they did a show, so that always felt really special. Obviously with fiction, you know, you're, you're not telling the truth. You want them to believe you are, but you're not. Coming to her sinus, I don't know what it was about being here, but I absolutely just took the plunge into it, especially because of the creative writing program and the creative writing scholarship. The scholarship is in honor of J.D. Salinger, who went to her sinus very briefly. <laughs> and you submit 10 pages of your original creative writing and the decision was made at that point like there's no way I could turn that down. We have such a diversity of writing that goes on at our sinus. I'm right now the president of LitSoc which is I think like the ultimate in writing community at our sinus because it's this stress-free judgment-free environment. Now I'm a lot more confident in my skills as a writer. I had a lot of really good English teachers and I kind of want to pay that forward. So at Ursinus, we have a fellowship program over the summer called Summer Fellows. And this past summer, I worked with John Volkmer to create what I called Hysteria, a collection of feminist horror, which was a collection of short stories where each one commented on and subverted a gendered trope in horror movies. Really opened my eyes of like, oh, this is what I want to do like for the rest of my life.